The CRRC 600 maglev train represents a bold leap forward in rail transport technology, one that seeks to bridge the gap between traditional high-speed rail and air travel, promising not only dramatically reduced journey times, but also a quantum step in passenger comfort, energy efficiency, and engineering innovation. Developed by China's largest rolling stock manufacturer, CRRC, this project builds on decades of magnetic levitation, maglev research and is designed to achieve a top design speed of 600 km per hour, approximately 373 miles per hour. Officially unveiled in prototype form in July 2021 in Qingdao, Shandong Province, the train was the culmination of years of research, testing, and development of core technologies, from superconducting magnets, ultra-light materials and highly streamlined aerodynamics, to novel power supply systems, levitation guidance systems and advanced braking. At its heart, the CRRC 600 maglev is conceived as a point-to-point -point transport tool, a mode of transit designed to connect major cities across province and national scales, especially on routes of up to approximately 2,000 kilometers, where it could outperform conventional high-speed rail and perhaps approach the door-to-door -door convenience of air travel. As a senior engineer at CRRC put it, the aim is to fill the speed gap between high-speed rail and aviation within 2,000 kilometers. For example, a journey between Beijing and Shanghai, about 1,200 kilometers by the current network, which presently takes over 5 hours by high-speed rail, could in principle be shortened to about 2.5 hours with a 600 km per hour maglev. Technologically, the train is rich in innovation. It uses superconducting magnetic levitation, often referred to as EDS, electrodynamic suspension, which allows the train to hover above the guideway, eliminating wheel-rail contact friction. One detailed study reports that below approximately 150 km per hour the vehicle may still operate on conventional wheels, but above that threshold it transitions to magnetic levitation, providing smoother, quieter, lower friction travel. The levitation gap, for some versions, is around 100 mm and the guidance gap around 70 mm, small clearances, but sufficient to ensure stable high-speed operation even on curves, aided by the train's self-stabilizing levitation system. The body of the train uses high-strength aluminium and carbon fiber composites, achieving a balance between weight reduction and structural stiffness. The nose, for example, is approximately 14.35 meters long and is designed to minimize aerodynamic drag and lift forces, critical at very high speeds where air resistance becomes the dominant challenge. Power supply innovation is also a feature. The system transitions between contact and non-contact power modes depending on speed, thus ensuring efficient power delivery across varied operating regimes. From an environmental and operational perspective, the advantages are substantial. Reduced friction means less wear and maintenance. Magnetic levitation means quieter rides and lower vibration. The potential for regenerative braking and low emission operation aligns with China's broader emphasis on low carbon, efficient transport systems. Construction of this train and its supporting infrastructure is also noteworthy. The prototype, rolled off the production line, in Qingdao, signaling a major milestone in China's rail transit ambitions. Work is underway to build test tracks and systems that can fully validate the train at design speeds. For example, a long test platform for the 600 km per hour system has been manufactured for use in a high-speed maglev test line by subsidiary companies of China Railway High Tech Industry. Meanwhile, manufacturing, R&D and collaborative systems across CRRC's many research institutions underpin the broader push. According to one company report, CRRC as of 2022 operated 10 overseas R&D centers, 22 enterprise-level technology centers, and conducted top-level, industrialization plus informatization, integration, placing it at the forefront of rail transit innovation. But beyond the technical specifications, the CRRC 600 maglev is significant for what it implies, a transformation of intercity mobility, a premium passenger experience, and a bold statement of technological capability. Imagine stepping aboard a train in a gleaming futuristic cabin, windows rising high, the ambient hum of magnetic levitation instead of the rhythmic clack of wheels, and the landscape rushing past as you cover hundreds of kilometers in an hour. The noise is low, the vibration minimal, the seats designed for ergonomics and comfort, the onboard systems leveraging AI, 5G connectivity, real-time diagnostics, and wireless charging for devices. Indeed, 
Reports mention fully automated driving systems, acoustic sensors, and AI video analysis tools embedded into the operational framework. The ride comfort is expected to rival that of a flight, without the takeoff and landing rituals. The pressurized and sound-insulated cabin would provide an environment where travelers could work, relax, sleep, or simply enjoy the journey in a way conventional high-speed rail cannot match. The streamlined exterior, the fleet of carriages, each with wider windows, smart lighting, and materials chosen for low noise and high durability, all these contribute to a premium experience. The design also emphasizes aesthetic elegance, a sleek silver and blue color scheme, reflective surfaces, aerodynamic form, and an interior crafted not only for efficiency but for the delight of passengers. Operationally, the CRRC 600 maglev is intended to offer more than raw speed, it aims for high reliability, high safety and low maintenance cost. The non-contact nature of levitation removes much of the mechanical wear experienced in high-speed rail, the aerodynamic body reduces drag losses, the levitation system, in some versions, is self-stabilizing and does not require active controls for normal operation, enhancing robustness and availability. In terms of environmental footprint, the vehicle is aligned with low-carbon goals, it can integrate regenerative energy feedback systems, employ solar energy at stations or on depot roofs, and operate with fewer emissions. One CRRC report suggests the system could generate several million kWh annually and reduce CO emissions by hundreds of thousands of tons in certain applications. From a system perspective, the train's speed and range put it in a class between high-speed rail, typically up to approximately 350 km per hour, and short-haul flights. Thus, for intercity corridors of 502,000 km, the maglev system offers a compelling alternative. Quicker transit times, fewer weather impact issues, more direct station-to-station -station paths, and improved passenger experience. The travel time shrinkage opens new possibilities. Cities that were previously far apart become effectively closer, business trips become shorter, day return commuting over what was once considered a long journey becomes plausible, regional integration deepens. For example, by cutting a 5-hour rail journey to 2.5 hours, the maglev brings air travel convenience to rail comfort, significantly improving productivity and passenger satisfaction. Such a shift also carries broader economic and societal implications. The construction of dedicated high-speed maglev lines encourages large-scale infrastructure investment, yields manufacturing economy stimulation, from materials to electronics, to systems engineering fosters high-skilled jobs, and reinforces a national industrial ecosystem capacity. China's ambition in rail transit is well established. It already possesses the world's largest high-speed rail network, but the maglev frontier represents a new horizon. With CRRC developing the 600 km per hour system, China signals its intent not only to be a user of high-speed rail, but a global leader in next-generation rail technologies. On the passenger side, the elevated experience of speed, comfort and transit time reduction drives competitiveness. For cities and regions, the maglev can enhance attractiveness, spur tourism, encourage logistic efficiency improvements, and reshape commuting and travel patterns. Of course, the technical and operational challenges are not trivial. Achieving and reliably sustaining 600 km per hour in commercial service requires long straights, minimal curvature, robust guideway infrastructure, safety systems to handle high-speed levitation, advanced braking. One CRRC source mentions a braking system with deceleration averaging minus 1 meter per square second, and systems to deal with aerodynamics, pressure effects, especially in tunnels, and structural vibration. Land acquisition, guideway construction, noise and vibration management, systems integration, and business viability in terms of ridership and cost are major considerations. Moreover, while the prototype has been built and test platforms established, actual commercial operation still lies in the future. Several sources note that the vehicle is in prototype test phases and that full commercial rollout will depend on further infrastructure, certification and system integration. Nevertheless, the story of the CRRC 600 maglev is as much visionary as it is engineering grounded. It is a statement about the future of mobility. A future where ground transit moves at speeds once reserved for aviation, where carbon light systems dominate, where the passenger experience is elevated, and where infrastructure acts as a catalyst for regional integration rather than a constraint. As rail networks worldwide grapple with capacity, 
Sustainability, speed, and connectivity challenges, a 600 km per hour maglev system offers an alluring new paradigm. Imagine boarding a train at midday and arriving at a city 1,000 km away before dinner. Imagine the difference this makes for business, for leisure, for how we organize time and travel. For you, as a content creator, viewer, or traveler, the CRRC 600 maglev is compelling. It is not just a train, it is a symbol of, what's next, in rail travel, a showcase of cutting-edge engineering, and a dramatic visual subject for video or photography. The sleek lines, the futuristic cabin, the near silence of magnetic levitation, the sense of speed, the promise of transformation, all lend themselves to an absorbing visual narrative. If you capture footage of it, or create content around it, consider focusing not only on the speed and tech specs, but also on the experiential dimension, how it feels to step aboard, how the station environment is designed, how the interface between human and machine is managed, how the future mobility ecosystem evolves. Use close-up shots of the levitation bogies, the suspension system, the electronics, the carbon fiber body and its aerodynamic form. Show passengers boarding in high-tech stations, ambient lighting, wide glass windows sweeping across landscapes at high speed. Ask the viewer, what will travel feel like in the next decade? In summary, the CRRC 600 maglev is more than a train. It is the embodiment of a transportation revolution in the making, an intersection of speed, engineering excellence, sustainability, passenger experience and economic potential. While it remains in development and awaits full commercial rollout, its very existence and unveiling herald the next chapter of rail travel, one where journeys shrink in time, cities. Draw closer in connection, and the train becomes not just a way to travel, but a statement of progress. For video makers, enthusiasts or travel innovators, it offers a rich palette of visuals, narratives and promise. As we look ahead, the days when we shrug at a, 5-hour train ride, may count down, and in their place arrive the high-velocity, high-comfort journeys enabled by systems like the CRRC 600 Maglev. The future is coming, and this train is a leading edge of it,